meditation brings awareness meditation brings awareness what kind of awareness does meditation bring meditation brings awareness of who you are what is around and how you do things and how you become moment to moment when you judge yourself or conclude that you are a bad person this is not objectivity when you judge yourself or conclude that you are a bad person this is not objectivity you complain to blame yourself and the others on the basis of past in doing so you miss the moment both bad and good are opinions in doing so you do not know what is good and what is bad we judge an individual by his actions not by his consciousness the terms goodness and badness cannot be absolute these are relative you may simply see all that is happening based on this you define good and bad also you determine how useful or useless they are this way you can see the futility of the concept this will help you to transcend no more duality no more dichotomies this is meditative state when you accept everything as it is without any prejudice no identification when you identify yourself with something good or bad or anything else you are creating subtle barriers and when you go on identifying you move further away from the real no meditative technique is fixed to aspects of your personality however it acknowledges that you can be dominated by them from time to time and that the dominating factor is connected to many other things as well you have to be open to look at more about yourself thus comes in a process of being open at different levels and states of consciousness and also to various degrees that are connected to your being meditation is looking here now the past becomes the object of meditation and awareness when the past presents itself in the moment of awareness it is now when the past presents itself in the moment of awareness it is now because past is representing now when you look back consciously it becomes awareness or recollection buddha called vipassana as anapana sati yog the pali word sati refers to awareness which is often translated as recollection sati in fact is a technique of recalling the past meditatively your past contains many moments that lack awareness and these hang around your consciousness to dissolve these you meditate on the past and at the same time go on looking at the present furthermore it provides insights in, into the future all this included in the word sati when you are looking for something it lacks awareness meditation does not require looking for or looking back meditation implies 
looking at all that is in front of us here. Awareness allows everything to come in from all directions. This is one aspect. The other is when things come in and you simply look. Aspirants wonder if there is anything beyond ego. Can we let go of ego and then put our entire trust in the action of what transcends the ego, our inner being? It is difficult. We know that the being has knowledge, wisdom and intelligence. But the question is how can this be released? And how can we put our trust into something that we are really sure of? This requires great care so that we do not end up playing the games of ego. Awareness knows the best and should be the watchword. But ego is confident that you cannot deal with it. But ego is confident that you cannot deal with its tricks. This is the fear or anxiety. When you think that ego is always there, then you block yourself. We tend to block ourselves from being in touch with reality. When you are afraid of the ego or cannot put entire trust in the being or feel it is not there, what can you do? In such case, do nothing. Just let ego suffer and then watch. A point will come when the ego can no longer struggle and then it stops. So when the ego stops struggling, things are quite different and simple. You are not by yourself. No one is dominating or directing you to do this or that. The other is no more. Then you are all alone, whole or one integrated. This will bring freedom, freedom from desire. Now everything is available. This is how it goes on in meditation.